Hello, Merry Christmas to you. And for a gift for you, I would love to share with you this free tutorial of how to paint a Christmas wreath. This one is super easy. I'm gonna show you how to do it step by step. But before we begin, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and the bell next to it if you wanna learn how to paint. Let's get started. The easiest way to do this is to just grab some cardstock or I'm using watercolor paper. So I'm using the same palette as last year because it's a very fun, colorful palette. And we will be mixing from that. So you will wanna get that video to help you mix along. You click right here, become a Create For Art member and you can have the same palette as me. Grab a round bowl or object and I want it to be smaller than my paper, so I'm giving it about an inch on both sides. I'm gonna center this, and then I can always cut the edges if I would like. Then I grab my pen here. Now if you want your lines to wash away, then grab a watercolor pencil. You can also use an acrylic pen, especially if you're doing this on canvas, that's what I would recommend. But since I'm doing this on paper, I can use things that are great on paper. So I have this, this is a fine Faber-Castell pen, and I'm just gonna go around the edges and I'm gonna be very, very slow at it. Grab your size eight round brush, grab your black, and we're gonna start making dabs. So I have to add a little bit of water on my brush because I'm using paper. And I'm just gonna go around this area. If you don't have a brush, just use your finger. Like literally could just use your finger. Fun little finger painting idea for Christmas. So. This one's for adults. I'll probably do another one on my kids' channel. And you just go around blotching. This fun little texture all the way around. Blotch, blotch, blotch. Keep on going. See, so I told you that line would just disappear anyway, so it's not a big deal. Just gonna twist mine around here. If you find yourself making the same little <laughs> things, you know, going on the sides like this, just be, make a random little thing coming out. It'll give it some more personality. Fill it on up, fill the thing on up. This is a song I made up. Because it's fun to sing and have music. Maybe you guys could have music, Christmas music going on. All right, I'm gonna thicken it just a little bit through here. So coming out just a little bit thicker because this is gonna be the darkest color and the contrasting colors are gonna go on top of it. So I'm just gonna go around one more time and thick it on up. Dabbing now in the middle to cover my line. Okay, pretty easy, huh? Okay, so now you have a dark green color that you've mixed with your black. And you're going to come in here and add that color in. Now, if your color is just a little bit different than mine, it's no big deal. And you're using kind of the same dabbing thing, but leaving the black. Because I'm going to see this a little bit more, I'm going to start going in more of a direction. This way, you know how the leaves on wreaths kind of go in a direction. This is a really fast, simple painting. Very playful and fun. So, 
you can take your time on it if you'd like be a little bit more of a perfectionist than me if you want or you can just be loose and playful whatever floats your boat I'm going to start sticking some of these leaves up above and on the outside just twist my paper around it's a very very thick wreath so we're gonna start moving in the center and moving to the very outer edge making this smaller in here and I'm just gonna put a little bit of dots right here in the middle Like I said, some of the black we will be going over. So this just gives it a little bit of depth right now. See anything that kind of you want to change, make it a little more round or whatever, this is the time to do it. Now you go to a lighter color. So we've done the black, the mix of the dark green and black, and now we're just doing the dark green. So now I'm going to follow the same pattern. Okay, so I'm going this direction. And notice how it starts popping, and you don't need as much as this, as uh, much as the other one. Just a little bit. You can even make a few different shapes. Um, if you find that your shapes are a little bit too similar, then you can just grab a different brush. Maybe you can grab your flat brush um, after you've put down these ones and then make some different shaped ones. I'm just gonna play with this. And if you find like, oh my gosh, I've got way too much of that, <laughs> you know, in a spot, just grab your other color and put it down. See, that's why the black's going to be important in the end. But it's the layers that's really going to make this look like really fun and have a lot of depth. Sometimes I like to come to a point and then push down for a little more realistic little leaf. Just keep going. So yeah, let me know what your guys' plans are. This season, I hope that it's going to be filled with family and fun and you're not lonely. I'm just gonna add a few dots in here of some of that other color showing. Kinda just gives it a little bit, bit of depth and variety. This is looking so pretty. Now we're not done. We're not done guys. We've got to add another color. So now I'm going to take that color that I have for this one and I'm going to add a little bit of yellow to it. You can add um, light green if you have that. And I'm gonna add a little bit of white and that white is going to make it so it's not super bright. It's gonna dull it down because we don't want it to be like fluorescent, okay? And then this is the color that I have. So I'm gonna check it. It's pretty bright. It will dry a little bit lighter, but that's, that's good. I like it. So I'm just gonna add this in a few places. So not as much as my other colors. And on the outsides, it's a really good option. Or like following another leaf, that works too. If you need to go a little bit darker, that's okay too. Come in here and just 
darken them up. Just make sure it's what you want. And I like to also be random again. Going that direction though. So it just looks like it's sitting on top. And um, some crazy happened right here, so I'm just gonna <laughs> make that look like it was supposed to be there. So pretty. Some areas I'll have a little bit more of that light color, other ones not as much. Just want to make sure that it's in every part of my wreath. So I like to look back at this point and be like, okay, where, where should I add you? Light color. Now it's time to add in some tans and some browns and it's just gonna be a little bit in there so you know that gold was part of that color palette well bronze so part of it is also the bronze yellow so bronze yellow is just basically a gold so that's the bronze yellow right there on my messy palette here so if you don't have that you can take your black and your yellow and you can mix one up um, but we're going to take that color and we're going to add green to it because we don't want it to like be way out there so i'm just going to add it to that light color that i had so i want the bronze yellow to warm up that color so that it's more on the yellow side okay when i add it to here so what that looks like is this so it kind of looks like this pukey green color but it warms it up you guys it warms up that green makes it feel like mmm it's a warm color <laughs> don't know how else to explain it okay so mixing with that color add some of that to it going in the direction and just a little bit here and there is all you need so i'm going to focus a little bit on the insides and outsides leaving a little bit of this dark in here. Just going along some areas. And as you notice, it also makes it a little more earthy. Add it to the outsides a little bit in some areas like that. So any spots that you feel like the blobs are just a little bit too non-leafy looking, just add a little bit of that yellow green to it. Isn't that looking great? See how it's all about layers, all about layers guys. Like, we're not done. We still have another layer. <laughs> Which you're probably going like, oh my gosh. But guys, it's the contrast of these colors that really make it pop. Really make it pop. So I'm going to take some of my gold, white, and a little bit of that green again. Make a lighter color. One that's really going to, you know, almost be a little bit fluorescent. And put it in. See that color, how it's maybe needs a little bit more of the green. Yeah. So just add it to a few places. Okay, so remember, just a, a little bit goes a long way here. On top and around the edges. And it just makes it look lush. So I can have a little more contrast in some of this. There's our thick, full wreath here. It's got a lot of interest because we've got several colors in here. We've made it so that it 
pops out and looks like it has some dimension in it, like it's rounded and full. Now, at this time, if you want to add any dark areas, go ahead. You can add some black on top. Maybe you feel like this is a little too much right here. You just go over it. No big deal. There's no wrong or right to this. It's just if you like it or not. And then let's add the berries. Now with the berries, we're also going to be using a round brush and we're also going to be building up. So you want to grab that dark red color that's a part of the palette this season and add in some of those dark dots in here. Now your berries can be however you want them and it's going to be kind of hard to see them at this point. So if you make any mistakes, it's no big deal. So I'm just going to be adding a few rounds. Now you can use the bottom of your brush too for this. You just take the bottom and make a circle with it. So I'm going to be kind of following like a little bit of a clump. That's what I'm doing, but you don't have to do it that way. You could have even like lines coming out and berries, you know, coming out of there. I haven't really found a wreath that's exactly my wreath. I'm just doing this out of my mind. Pick some areas and go for it. <laughs> I might have like a few coming out here, like maybe one coming out here. Here's your berry. Use your bright red and that makes it really pop. So you go and you add another layer on here. Here there, there a little. Everywhere is a little bit of berries. I'm just loving it. I love it. Okay, and then if you want, you can write gather. Ooh, metallic paint with gather would be beautiful. Or a little family saying right through here. It's all up to you. Thank you so much for painting with me. I hope you had fun and I hope that you got to be creative because that is what is super important. Every week I share another video so you can continuously be inspired and keep practicing your skills. If you want to learn more, go ahead and click right here to become a Create for Art member and I will give you weekly art lessons that are going to help you become a better artist. Also, you get the reference photos and templates and color mixing videos and other fun perks to help you paint along and continuously be inspired. When you become a Create for Art member, it also helps support these tutorials so it makes it possible for me to keep sharing these with you. So thank you very much. You can watch more videos right here and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.